All right, moving on and getting ready to make history. Right now, the San Diego State men's basketball team is in Houston getting ready for the Aztecs' first ever Final Four matchup tomorrow. Got my red on. I hope you have something planned for tomorrow's game. CBS State's John Howard and Jake Gariani, they're in Houston to cover the team in action. Hey, guys, how are things looking out there? Thank you, Heather and Carlo. John and Jake here having a great time in Houston. Uh, Jake, i got to tell you, from the time we stepped off the plane, you know that Houston is hosting the NCAA Final Four. The hotel's all over the place in the airport. You see the signs, the road ends here. Final Four, you see the Aztecs logo all over, which is totally cool to see. And the big question, Jake, is that a distraction at all for the players with the biggest stage as it is? Oh, and you talk about the town being decked out. How about this cathedral, uh, this palace? Yes that we're in right now, NRG Stadium, of course, where the Texans play. It holds over mm -hmm. 70,000 people, John. I expect it to be packed to the gills. I can't even imagine what that atmosphere will be like yeah. on game day, Saturday and Monday. And we had to ask the players, could this stage be too big? How do you handle mm -hmm. such a massive situation? Have you let this sink in? You walk down the halls and your picture's on the wall. There's San Diego State stuff everywhere. I mean, you're playing in an NFL stadium. Has all that sunk in yet? It hasn't really, and you know, when you give it time to sink in, it's just amazing to think about the road we've been on. And you know, I love March Madness. This is something I always watched as a kid, and to be a part of it, uh, I'm kind of like, man, I wish I could look at it from the outside. But you know, I'm in it, so uh, you know, it's just amazing to be here. I used to be a Texans fan, so being in their arena playing just. It's a, it's a good way to end my last year of college basketball. How are you liking the grand stage? I mean, you look at this locker room, there's banners and posters and big Aztec logos. I saw your face out in the hallway on the, for Pete's sake. How are you liking the big stage? Uh, it's, it's been cool, a cool environment. Uh, something that we've never been in. Uh -huh. There's 70,000 uh, fans that's going to be here, so it's going to be fun. I just can't wait. I can't wait. I feel like you can't really ignore it. Uh, I feel like if you ignore it, it kind of festers and, and it gets a little bit too big for you. So we acknowledge it. Uh, I mean, we, we, we love it. Uh, we're getting the, somewhat of the respect that we deserve and, and the love that we deserve. Um, but, I mean, we have bigger things in mind just to, from the hard work. We feel like we're, we're, we're two games away. Um, so we're locked in on that. We know this thing can get bigger. Uh, so we're, we're just excited to, to compete and, and win these two games. And, John, I love Darion's perspective there. He mm -hmm. said, look, you can't ignore it. It will fester if you do that. You have to embrace it for what it is, take it for what it is, and say, we do not fear this moment. Yeah. And I don't think they feared a moment. I really noticed after the Charleston yeah. game, the round one game, they just seemed to be infused with confidence, but not arrogance. There's a touch of humility to these players that I've really appreciated. Uh, Jake, before we throw it back to Heather and Carlo, quick prediction on the game. I know you were high on those Florida Atlantic Owls in our last report, giving me a whole bunch of coach speak. Now, who's going to win the game? John, this is a very good nine seed. But yeah. our Aztecs are going to win this game. I'm fully behind the Scarlet and Black, and I think they do it the way they've won every game in this tournament, playing great defense, holding these teams under what they normally shoot. I think the Aztecs win this game 68-64. 68-64. Now, on the first take of this, you said 68-60. You've, you've gone up four points. You threw me under the bus. Yeah, yeah, I've gone up four points. I think it's going to be closer than we did. I think it's going to be within five points as well. So just to be different from Jake, I'll go 66-61. How's that? That's good. In your first take, you refused to answer. Now hear this. It's time to throw it back to Heather and Carlo. This is good. <laughs> Any other thing you want to add? No, please take it. <laughs> You know, John's the the senior of the two. Let's just put it that way. But I just feel like Jake, when they go on these things, that he has to babysit. I think so. Yeah, I mean, he's like stealing construction equipment out there, as you saw. I do think it's going to be a close game. I yes. mean, both of these teams are really good. I do think Aztecs are going to come out on top. I just don't want it to be as close as the last game. I can't take that again. I have bad news for you. I think that that's how it's going to be because I think that's that's why SDSU is where they are because they can thrive in that kind of situation. Ugh. They just keep it in their plan. It came down to a third of a second on the clock. It, it did, but, why? but the players, it wasn't too big for them. It didn't impact them. It, it, I think it just impacts us as fans way more than them, and that's what I love about this team. They're really, they've got it together, confident, mature. I love it. They can take the heat. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Go get them, guys. And Aztecs Fever, of course, is hitting Houston right now with one very enthusiastic mm. group of fans landing there just hours ago. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke to some of the diehards before they left the San Diego International Airport. She brings us all the excitement.
And the energy here at the airport today has been incredible. Just speaking to Aztecs fans, you can kind of see this twinkle in their eyes as they talk about what it's going to be like tomorrow, sitting in the stands, watching their Aztecs play in the final four for the first time in history. San Diego is just on fire right now. You know, it's super cool and we've been waiting a long time for this. So it's uh, it's really cool to see San Diego sports just going all the way, especially college. So it's awesome. I would rate it like the, uh, you know, going to the Super Bowl and your team's in it, right? <laughs> so. Exactly. exactly. So you got to go. This is actually better than the Super Bowl because we don't have a team anymore. <laughs> so San Diego State Aztecs, they're our team. And here's video of what it was like getting on the plane from San Diego to head to Houston. Uh, it was a party. The Southwest staff cheering Aztecs fans on. Uh, Terminal 1, a sea of red and black. Everywhere you looked, there were Aztecs hats. People were dressed in red, black, and white. Now, those last two gentlemen you just heard from, Jeremiah and Jerome, uh, are best friends. SDSU alums, season ticket holders, who have been rooting for the Aztecs for years. So you can imagine what it's like to finally see their team go to the Final Four, and they get to watch the game together in person. Now, they were among the Aztecs fans lining up here at the airport bright and early this morning to get onto a chartered flight to head to Houston. Uh, fans say March Madness is so much fun, so unique. Anything can happen. That's really the beauty of the tournament. And to get to be a part of Aztecs history like this is really special. This is phenomenal. I mean, when you think about San Diego fans and we were disappointed in the World Series, we were disappointed in the Super Bowl and then the Chargers leaving, San Diego sports now, we've got the Padres doing well, but San Diego State is big. And to go to the Final Four, it's, it's a dream come true. I bought tickets to the national championship, so I'm, I'm putting it in the universe that they're winning tomorrow and they're going all the way. And so that last fan you saw there, uh, so convinced that the Aztecs are going to win tomorrow. He has a ticket for the championship game on Monday. So I like his positive thinking, his positive energy. Let's go Aztecs. Let's bring a W home for San Diego. Heather and Carla, we'll send it back to you. Let's go. Let's get it done. Come on, I said uh, earlier today, I don't hope they have fun. I hope they win. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope that they have to make sure that they're there until very late Monday or mm -hmm. early Tuesday. Yes. I, I hope that's what's happening. If, if you can't attend the Final Four showdown in person, and a lot of us can, obviously, you can watch it right here on CBS 8. This is the plus spot to watch the game. Our John Howard and Jake Ariani will also be offering live coverage of the game from Houston. Don't forget, it all starts tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m.